Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're just going to look at uh, exponential functions and some of their characteristics. All right, So this is kind of the basis of what a function would look like. A b can be an expression, it can be a value, um, but uh, whatever the case is, I mean you can even add and subtract to it. It's not going to matter. But this part right here is, is pretty important that b is greater than zero because if it were negative uh, then your, your graph is going to be skipping around all over the place. And it's not necessarily that B can't be 1, but if it was 1, you'd just have a straight line because 1 times anything, uh, I'm sorry, 1 times itself, any number of times would just give you a straight line. It would just tell you that F of X is just always going to be 1. So uh, in order for it to be exponential, B can't be 1. That's why it says that, okay? And x can be any real numbers. That just means that x can be the, again, the x is the exponent, right? x can be a negative, it can be positive, it can be a fraction, a decimal, it can be a whole number or an integer. Uh, x can be any of those, okay? Now, the features here is that it's one-to-one. -one. The function is one-to-one, -one, which means for every y value, there's one corresponding x value. And since it's a function, it actually goes the other way around. So for every x value, there's only one corresponding y value. Notice this basic format gives us no x-intercept, whether b is greater than 1, the base, or whether the base is some type of fractional number, okay? Uh, and it just switches the way that it's turned here. This one's kind of cut this way. And when b is uh, less than 1 and greater than 0, and it gives us this type of cup here. And that has to do with uh, the properties of powers, because uh, anything, anything, again, since we're not talking about negative values of b, any of these positive values, even if we put them into fractions, they'll never actually equal 0. Okay, so 0 is not actually part of the domain here, so uh, these lines will never touch zero. Now we can force them to depending on if we add and subtract here, but uh, really right now we're not, we're not worried about that. It's just the basic characteristics of exponential functions. And you can see the domain. The domain goes, it can, it'll go all the way to the left to infinity and to the right. That's the x values of the domain. But the range up and down, it'll go all the way up to infinity, but again, it won't ever cross that zero where, or the x-axis, not on either one of these, okay? So those are the basic characteristics of an exponential function. Uh, they'll look like this, and uh, again, we can manipulate them to move it up or down, but you'll always have a value that it will never reach, okay? Thanks for watching this video, you guys. Uh, there's more example videos coming right after this.